welcome to our third lesson of module four which we are really going to be dealing with looking at the exercise questions that we had at the back of our pdf for module four so the very first exercise that we have which is 6.1 is shown in the circuit that you see in front of you and in the circuit, they advise us that we've got a base of 96 MVA and we're asked to calculate the terminal voltage in our generator. So we'll start by looking at our load so that we can be able to calculate our current for the circuit. And that is how we're getting the current utilizing the power that we have been given on the load side. Once we have that current, we then calculate our base current and that will be able to lead us to calculate what our per unit current is going to be which is simply our load divided by our base currents and in this case we've got 0 0.17 at minus 35.9 as a answer we then go on to all our different units within the circuit and calculate the new z per unit and we do this for the transformer one you can see that you time multiply the 11 percent i have which is 0 0.11 you multiply by our s new base which is the 96 we've been asked to utilize divided by the 54 that's on the transformer you get an answer then you go to your line remembering the line formula is z actual times our s over v squared you get an answer there and for this one we've got 0 0.121 at 84.61 and then you go to a transformer 2 and there is the 12 percent times the 96 over the 69 and once you have all of that you can then go to the formula that says your v gen is equal to your v load plus your v transformer 2 plus your v line plus your v transformer 1 you simply put in all the answers that you got remembering that your v load is going to be a one unless it's been defined as otherwise then we get our vgen and we will then go and calculate that vgen using the per unit that we got which was 1.204 multiplied by the v base which v base are we utilizing utilizing the voltage closest to your generator so you look at your transformer one and you can see that it's a 66 kv and that's what you take and so therefore our v gen is going to be 79.48 for this equation at an angle of 11.375 going to exercise 6.2 you do exactly what we had in 6.1 just note that there is a slight difference where in your transformer one they give you x is equal to 0 0.1 per unit so it's already in per unit but it does not mean that you guys must now go and say that transformer one you are going to utilize that 0 0.1 in your calculations we will see what you need to do still so here you start with the load again so that you can calculate what your i load is going to be then you calculate your I base and you get your I per unit. Once you have got your I per unit, you then go to your transformer one, your line and your transformer two. So in your transformer one, you're going to take that 0 0.1 because it's already in per unit, not in percentage like we had in the previous one. So it's going to be that 0 0.1, you multiply by the 55, you divide by the 75 line. You know that is going to be your actual multiplied by your s divided by your v squared then you know for the transformer 2 also is going to be there 0 0.08 for the 8 percent you multiply by the 55 you divide by the 90. then you go to your v gen per unit and you add all of those your load transformer 2 your line in your transformer 1 and once you've got that answer there, you then go and calculate what your actual voltage is at the generator terminals by taking that V per unit that you got for your generator, multiplying by your 
base and your base in this case a transformer one closest to your generator 3 kV. Then we go to our 6.3. Now 6.3 you will see that what is different is that it says the load takes full load current at 0 0.936. So the part that is going to be different when you do 6.3 is going to be where you are looking at your V chain. Instead of utilizing a 1 there for your load, you're going to utilize that 0 0.936. So let's go into it and see how we work it out. So we start obviously by the load, looking at the power that you've been given, and we use that to calculate our load current. Then we calculate our base current utilizing the S base over our square root of 3V base. And once you have that, you then calculate what your per unit current is going to be for that system. We then go and look at our transformer 1 so that we can be able to work out what the new per unit is going to be. And we go to our line so that we can also work out what the new per unit is going to be there. Then we go lastly to our transformer 2 and we get our answer as well. Once you have got all of these uh, transformer 1, the line and transformer 2, you go to the formula of your V gen per unit, which is going to be your V load plus your V transformer 2, V, tra v line and V transformer 1. You put in all the answers that you had previously, remembering that your V load here is the 0 0.936 at 0 degrees. And then you're going to get an answer there, which we got a 1.042 at 4.359. Then you go and calculate your V gen, which is going to be that V per unit gen times by the V base. And what's our V base here? The voltage closest to the generator is going to be the 6.6 .6 kV from transformer 1. So the generator terminal voltage is going to be 6.885 at 4.359 kV in this scenario. Then we go to 6.4 and you can see that 6.4 is the same as your question number 3. Only the difference is that your full load current at your load is going to be at 0 0.92 per unit volts. So the steps are going to be you calculate your load current, you calculate your base current, you calculate your per unit current, then you find your transformer 1 Z per unit, your line Z per unit, and your transformer 2 Z per unit. Then you utilize the formula of V per unit gen, which is going to be equal to our V per unit load plus V per unit transformer 2 plus V per unit line plus V per unit transformer 1, which will then be able to get you your generator voltage at your terminal. The base, remember, for transformer 1 is going to be the 33 kV closest to your generator. Then we come to 6.5. 6.5 is slightly different. And the reason for that is because now we're given here the generator terminal voltage, which is 156 at an angle of 9.7. What you have not been given is your line. You can see that your line is blank. And they are asking us to utilize a base of 210 and calculate the resistance and inductance of that line. So where do we start? It's now all different from what we have been doing. So we come down, we start with the first steps. What is the first step? We calculate our current for the circuit. How do you do that? You look at your power that you've been given in your load, and that allows you to calculate your I load. You then go on to go to your I base, and then you do your I per unit. So if you didn't know anything in this question, you could have at least scored yourself some marks just doing the current for that system. Then you go on and calculate the base or rather the Z per units, the new bases for them. So you go to your transformer 1, you go to your transformer 2, 
and you then go to your generator scenario so this is where you would first have picked up the very different thing for the first time so here you already given a region of 156 at 9.7 and you make that equal to your v per unit gen times your v base which is what we're utilizing in all of your other exercises right at the end so what you are looking then for is obvious that is your v per unit gen because you know that your v base is going to be the 132 which is closest to your generator on the transformer one so your v per unit gen in this case is then going to be that v gen at 156 divided by the v base at 132 then you go into that formula where we say the v per unit gen was going to be the v per unit load plus v per unit transformer 2 plus v per unit line plus v per unit transformer 1 so you have got for almost all of them except for the VP unit line. So you then put everything together, remembering that your VP unit transformer line, sorry, is going to your BOZ line per unit multiplied by your current per unit. And then you are going to be able to then go and work out what your Z line per unit is, which in my case was 0.5698. And although I didn't show it clearly for you, because I've written it all out, it means that you're going to take that 1.182 for your VGen per unit, and you're going to subtract that 1 for your VLOAD. You're going to subtract the VP unit transformer 2, and you're going to subtract the VP unit transformer 1. Then you're going to have an answer that's equal to your VP unit line, which means then you take whatever answer that you had and you divide by your current per unit and that will give you what my z line per unit is and i'm going to show you that in better detail on 6.6 .6. and then your z per unit line is then simply going to be as we know z actual times our s divided by our v squared so therefore it means that the z actual which is what we are looking for for our react resistance and inductance is going to simply be our z per unit line and we're going to multiply by the voltage squared over the s so the voltage for the line is 88 kv and then your s being the 210 that we have been given and there you are going to have a 21.012 at 83.366 but remember they say they want resistance and inductance so you change that into your j format and you've got the 2.4 8 is your resistance and your J20.872 is your inductance. Then this is the last exercise that I'm going to be doing with you guys and you can see that this one was exactly the same as o question 5 where we are still looking for the line. The difference is that your load takes full load current at 0 0.945 per unit so instead of one we're going to put a 0 0.945 in so what do you do we start by again calculating your current on your load and then you calculate your i base and your i per unit move from that step and go and find out your z per unit for your transformer one for your transformer two and then you go into the v gen being your v per unit times v base so that you can be able to cut to work out what your v per unit gen is because you're given the v gen at your terminals once you've got the v per unit gen you then simply go and make your z line per unit the subject of the formula and that's by having your v per unit gen subtract your in all in brackets your vp unit load plus your vp unit transformer 2 plus your vp unit transformer 1 remember vp unit load in this case is going to be there 0 0.945 at 0 degrees you divide that by your i per unit that will give you your z z line per unit on which case you then go and find your z actual and that will be that z line per unit that you just got you multiply it by your voltage squared and your line voltage here is 33 kv and you divide by s which we have been given 
and what have we been given as is you say that we must utilize the name plate values of transformer one so that means s 60 mva that you need to utilize for the system